So the first step to associating your speed spec specification to your ARCHICAD model is to check the classification manager. So if you go up to options tab here, classifications manager, and then check that you've got the correct XML file loaded. So it's a speed spec 16. If you don't have that XML file, um, you can download it from this information tab here and then import it using this one. So I'll click OK, go to window, palettes, MBS Chorus Connect to open up the interface. Click sign in. Just wait for that one to load. Okay, I'm just going to search my demonstration project. Into that. And then from here, I'm going to associate the specification to the ARCHICAD model. So click on the three dots here, associate with model, associate now. It's going to ask which classification manager you want to use. So for that one, I'm going to use speed spec 16, click choose. From here, I need to go into the actual specification. So click into it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to, to associate the doors and door frames to three of the doors here. So you can associate more than one object or element at a time. So I'm going to click those there, maybe that one as well. Click on doors and door frames, associate with model, click on the section level, click associate now. You can see a successful association is uh, indicated with the cube and the tick. So I can now go into the ARCHICAD model and using the label tool, I can demonstrate the information which has been placed within that object. So I go like that, control T to open up the, the settings on the label. I'm across to classifications and properties label 24 then down into symbols and label and custom settings, click create sorting, and then across to classifications and click speed spec 16, click OK. And you can see the information that I, which I took from the specification <clears throat> transferred using Chorus Connect into that object is now relayed through to the label. That information is also transferable to the door schedule. So if I open up the door schedule, go into the scheme settings, add fields, add the speed spec, Click add, okay. That information now is showing in the actual door schedule as well. And that information can also be relayed through associated doors and window, oh, sorry, windows and objects. If you have an FF and E um, schedule, which you wanted to um, relay your specification information to. Um, <clears throat> so if I go back to the ground floor and then go back into the doors and door frames section, which we were associating, I can show you some neat features about the Chorus Connect tool. So if you go into the model section here, we have an unassociated and associated section. So under this tab, it's telling me that these are all the elements and objects within my model, which have not yet been associated to my specification. This one tells me that these particular elements have been associated to a section of the specification. And this one here <clears throat> allows us to uh, determine if there's any errors or misinformation from the specification to the model. And if there were, we are able to push the um, missing information from the specification into that particular associated object, which is really neat. Um, other things to take note of is that if you were to do your sketch design modeling out here, say out here and it's away from the actual site and um, building itself, the model uh, an associated and associated counting system within Chorus Connect would actually count those objects and elements, which would affect your specification um, association method. Therefore, we suggest if you are to do any sketch design, make sure you do it on a level which has no actual building modeled or site modeled elements on it.